Hey guys, it's me Edgar here to do my review on Witchblade Volume 1, Issue 11. It's been a while since we've done a review on Witchblade since I'm so focusing on Iron Man and the darkness. So I thought, why not do another Witchblade comic book review? So yeah, the comic book opens up where we see Sarah looking at the figure. Let's just put it that way. The mysterious man. And she goes up to the building that he's in and after that, you know, he vanishes. After that whole ordeal's all over, uh, Sarah decides to, you know, study the Witchblade armor and her partner comes in. Now, she doesn't move. She's trying to do everything she can to make it keep quiet, keep it very personal. And overall, you know, trying to not turn the whole chair on her partner, and a.k.a. her boyfriend. And I love the fact that, you know, she tells her partner that, you know, hey, I gotta go do things, and sorry, can't help, but after that ordeal, we cut to where uh, two racers are literally racing on a racetrack, and pretty much after that ordeal, uh, you have a bunch of people talking to each other, and, you know, I guess these are the villains that are setting up everything, and then eventually, boom, uh, they destroy one of the racers. And then after that, we cut to where Sarah is going on a fashion model ordeal. And you have where she meets up with the woman that's the boss of this entire whole uh, fashion corporation, whatever the shit whole. And then after that, you know, they have a chat and, you know, she leaves and there is something I'm like, <laughs> are you fucking for real, guys? Doesn't this look like Mephisto? I mean, if this was in the Marvel Universe, I would have been like, oh, hell yeah, now we're talking, baby. But I mean, like, shit, for crying out loud. Talk about stealing a character design. I mean, shit. Um, I know that's not their true, the true intentions, but, you know, that's, like, dude, if you wanted to do something interesting, you should have done things better, not give it the applying factor of, oh, yeah, uh, uh, the devil is in Top Cow. I mean, it's kind of stupid. Whatever. Uh... I'm going to give it a solid 7 out of 10. This was a good issue. Uh, enjoyed it as hell. The artwork is mwah, fresh kiss. Love that shit. And uh, stay tuned on my reviews on The Darkness. On my reviews, that whole thing. I'm going to try to catch up with that series. Along with my Alien reviews. I'm going to speed up that all series. And uh, stay tuned on my reviews on Iron Man issue 101. And uh, stay tuned on my reviews on X-Men as well, along with Avengers. Tell me your thoughts down below on this.